The Themes of Biology New properties emerge at each level of the biological hierarchy. As we inspect little Johnny, we notice things about him as an organism. An organism is one step above an organ system. What do you notice that's different from Johnny in a digestive system? Johnny has multiple organ systems which make up his body, the organism. For example, we can't just take a stomach and a heart and expect it to function just as Johnny does. We need all of the parts arranged just right so little Johnny can move, breathe, and perform as a human being. Properties that are formed at each level of the biological hierarchy are called emergent properties. Look at this cell membrane, for example. This is an organelle. If we arrange it properly with other organelles, we can make it part of a cell. The cell is an organism's basic unit of structure and function. What we don't see of little Johnny is that his body is made of tiny structures called cells. Inside of Johnny, billions of cells are growing, repairing, and dividing. Let's take a look. Each of us began as a single cell, stocked with DNA from our parents. Your DNA is what makes you who you are. Some organisms begin as a single cell and also end as a single cell. But not you, Mr. Human. You're a multicellular organism made up of lots of eukaryotic cells. When you were made, your cell underwent a process called mitosis over and over. Your cells continued to grow and divide until you got to where you are today. Even still, your cells are growing and dividing. Structure and function are correlated at all levels of biological organization. Look at little Johnny's hand. Think about what a hand does. Hands are used primarily to pick things up, right? The shape of your hand is the reason why it functions like it does. The form of everything directly affects how it functions. Take a bird, for example. The structure of its wings allows it to fly. Just remember, form fits function. The continuity of life is based on heritable information in the form of DNA. Remember that cell you started as? That cell contained vital information in its chromosomes. Chromosomes are made of chromatin, which are made of DNA. You inherited those chromosomes from your parents. All living things contain DNA. DNA is inherited by offspring from their parents. The DNA then helps you as an organism grow and develop. Organisms interact with other organisms and their physical environment. This is Johnny's brother Jimmy. Jimmy works as a lumberjack. Lumberjacks interact with their physical environment by cutting down trees, which make oxygen for you and me to breathe. But of course, lumberjacking is hard work. The sun, an abiotic factor, makes us work sweaty and difficult. Life requires energy transfer and transformation. Because Jimmy is a real man, he eats meat when he's thirsty. The bacon he's eating is a source of energy. The pig that was slaughtered in order for him to eat had probably eaten some form of grain. Grains get their energy through photosynthesis, and the pigs absorb that energy when they eat it. Now that Jimmy has eaten the bacon, he has the energy from the pig and the grain. The energy that he absorbed then exits his body when he moves, in the form of heat. Feedback mechanisms regulate biological systems. Jimmy sure is working hard to cut down that tree. When Jimmy gets hot from working too hard, he sweats. See? When his body reached a temperature level that was unsuitable, it automatically used a feedback mechanism. Sweating is an example of a negative feedback because it negated the change in his body. Evolution, the main theme of biology. All of the things we looked at today are related in some way. That's right, your hands are related to wing, because emergent properties are related to feedback mechanisms. Do you know how? I'll tell you, evolution! The reason that emergent properties exist is because they were formed by evolution. Feedback mechanisms developed by evolution. Wings and hands were also developed by evolution. The product you see today is the result of millions of years of life changing, evolving, and adapting to the world around us. So next time you pick something up, say, Golly gee, evolution, thanks for all the great things I can do with my opposable thumb. But just like our ancestors, we're still evolving. The world around us changes every day. All organisms on this planet are always adapting to changes in their environment. The polar bear that you see here is predicted to be extinct by 2015 because of a new threat called global warming. Oh Johnny, don't be sad. The people of 2015 will have flying cars and jetpacks. They can do that. They can surely solve global warming. Ha ha ha. Or can they? I hope this video was as informative as it was entertaining. We learned so much about life and how it works today, didn't we, little Johnny? 
We'll see you next time in biology class. Keep on living. Copyright 1965 to Aperture Science Laboratories.